What's going on guys? In today's video, we're gonna be supercharging 2015 Toyota Sienna. So we already got started on the process. We're just taking off little panels on the top. Okay, so now we're taking off the intake. Okay, so the intake's off. So this is the blower that's going on in the van. It's a TVS 1320 from Harup. So what we're gonna do, is we're just gonna analyze this and see how it's gonna go on on the minivan. Okay guys, so here's the blower. It already comes with 550cc injectors. Besides the belt and a couple miscellaneous parts, this is literally the whole kit. So this blower is actually gonna be on stock boost, which is seven pounds. We usually run methanol through these blowers, but we're not gonna do methanol in these ones, only because my mom's still gonna be driving the van. All right, so we're not gonna run these injectors. In order to avoid tuning, we just have to take off these injectors only because they're way too big. We need to tune for sure, so we're gonna put stock injectors back in it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the manifold. So these are the stock injectors we are gonna be using, so we don't have to tune, as far as we know. Okay well, guys, so this is the blower. It's completely test fitted. So we got the old bracket off and we put the new pulling plate and we're now just test fitting to see how the belt is gonna be wrapped. So this is the stock pulley that comes with the blower to 2.7 and it's running on stock boost, which is seven pounds. And that's the max we're gonna go only because my mom still is gonna drive this van and it is still gonna be daily driven. So we just wanna run it safe. All right guys, so my uncle, my uncle just came over. Let me know if you guys wanna see a video on this car. So that blower is the same blower that's going on a minivan. The only difference is that one's from Toyota and that one was imported from Australia. That's the only difference between the two. But other than that, they're the same exact blower. All right guys, so it's been mostly time consuming, not really hard. But let me just show you what we had to do. In order to tighten these bolts, we have to use a camera to see that they're tightening or not because of how in the spot that they are. It is really, really tight. Time consuming slowly, but surely we're getting there. Okay, so the blower is fully tightened. Right now we're just test fitting the intake. So the intake isn't actually touching. So this is the setup. It did go all the way down. We didn't expect it to actually close and have clearance. So right now, this is how the current setup is gonna be. The only thing is the belt isn't on because we need the power steering pup itself so the belt can wrap properly. But other than that, this is how the setup is gonna be. This is the pump that we're gonna be using. The, the hose is literally just looped to itself because we're not gonna be using it. It says electric steering. This is literally off for tension on the belt. Okay, guys, you can see the power steering pump is in. And this is how it's looking so far. So as of tonight, I think this is the furthest we're gonna get after this test start. So now we're gonna go on a little test drive. We still need to block the boost. Uh, we might need to tune it because on the scan tool, it does look a little rich. Lean. Or lean, I mean. The mounts feel soft. Day two. All right, guys, this is the next day. We're gonna go get the bung welded on for the wide band. So we can see what our air fuel ratio is. So right now the van's up. My dad's underneath looking where he's gonna put the bung. The cat pack is already out. That's Mark for the bung. He's gonna drill it out and then we're gonna get the welder ready to weld the bung on. Yeah. Okay, so the hole is drilled and the bung is in. Now it's just the welding part. Okay, so to weld it on, my grandpa ended up welding it. All we need to do is put it back on and hook up the wide band. 
Okay, guys, so the cat pack is back on. There's the bung. It's welded. All we have to do now is just put this, the O2 sensor on there and hook up to the wideband. Okay, so this is the boost gauge we're gonna be running. We're not gonna run over 10 pounds anyway, so this right here is perfect, and it's a TRD one. And this is the AM wideband we're gonna be running. We still need a place to put them, but we'll figure it out when that time comes. Later. All right, it's a little bit later now. We haven't put the wideband sensor in. Some things did come up, but we decided to take off the blower. We are gonna put the 550cc injectors now, only because if it does get rich, we can lean it out, and we do need to take off the blower to do a boost port. So that's exactly what we're doing right now. The blower is out. All we're gonna do now is swap the injectors and make a little hole for the boost port. Those ones are three, 380s injectors, which is a good upgrade for the Solara. Yeah, and these are 550s, huh? These are 530s, I think. Oh, they vary. I think they say different name, different sizes, but I think they're somewhere around there, that range. Boost parts on, this is what we went with. So it's kind of like a two part. This screwed in this screwed in first. And then we had to tap this, the inner part of it to screw it on. So and this is where the hose will go. After this, after we put the blower back on and start it, all we have to do is just hook up the boost gauge and the wide band. So yeah, we just need to put everything back in and get it going. Okay, now instead of lean, we'll be a little richer now. Okay, that's that. For now, the boost port's plugged up. I'm just gonna test start it right now. Okay, so everything's running good right now. It's running just fine. What we're gonna do is just hook up the wide band. This is the wide band sensor. It's already fed through. We fed it through that little back panel back there. And now we just need to hook it up. We decided to hook up the boost gauge after all. It's just kind of sitting there. So we have everything hooked up and this is what we're gonna be using now for power. I literally just plug into the cigarette lighter and this is what's gonna feed us the power to the white gun. And just like that, we have power. Yeah. This is all just temporary, like I said earlier. So due to poor intention and detail, that last O2 sensor was not good. So we had to hook up this new one and the new gauge. Okay. And just like that, we have power to 13 right now. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit rich, just a little bit, with the new injectors. The boost line is hooked up. It hit around six pounds, I think. What did we go up to? It hit six pounds right now. Seven, probably. Oh. Wideband sensor is bad. It's just stuck at 11.4. So unfortunately, we are gonna need to get another wideband sensor. Day three. All right, guys. So this is day three. We already got the O2 sensor. It is right here, and we're just putting a new one in right now. Got it from O'Reilly, so it's actually warranty. So that's pretty cool. Um, and also, we did find a gauge pod for it. It's not for the van. So this is the gauge pod we're thinking on using. We're thinking about putting it right here. That's kind of an idea. It looks pretty good. This is what we might use. In the long run, we're gonna run Gretty E-Manage. We're not gonna run it right now, only because we don't have a harness. We have a couple of them, but this is just the general idea. This is what we're gonna use. So hopefully that gets done, that'll be cool. So we're gonna try on the van and we're gonna see if the gauge works right now. It should work obviously, because it's a new sensor. We had a little bit of trouble, but we got it going. All right, so we did start the van and it looks like it is working correctly. Okay, so when we started it on the scan tool, it was running rich. We found the problem and we're gonna do our own little solution. And it kind of is tuning in a sense because we are gonna lean it out a little more. Just a little bit of back air tuning 
she's running really really good now all right so now that everything's running good we're going again for another test drive yet again we're thinking now it's the gauge because that should be three sensors we finally got a different wide band sensor and wide band it's a newer one, one from the Solara it works good now I just didn't film it because this is really the fourth time all right guys so we're gonna run this little G right here Okay guys, it is day four. We're not really gonna be working on advanced today. This is just me clarifying what happened yesterday, only because I didn't record too much of it. So all we did yesterday was get the new wideband and wideband sensor in the van. We got that from the Solara, so let me show you that. So here's the new wideband. It's a bigger one. This one's actually a newer version of the one we had last time. This one, all, the major difference between that one and this one is the numbers are bigger and it reads it faster. And we also did get this gauge pod from the Solara. Uh, we just put it right here and this is where it looks like it might stay because honestly it doesn't look too bad. We were gonna use the one that goes on top, but we kind of figured this one looks a little bit better. And that's kind of just what happened yesterday. I didn't really film it because this was the first time trying to fix the wideband issue. We finally got it down. We got a whole new gauge and a whole new harness. So now that shouldn't be an issue. And also guys, the van is running rich top end and lean on the low end so it is gonna need a tune i said we were gonna run a gritty e-manage once we get the harness but it looks like from research we haven't seen any type of harness for it and we were gonna run hp tuners because i'm on dad's x runner it does run hp tuners but that engine is a 1gr and the engine in the van is a 2gr and it doesn't support the 2gr so with the hp tuners we're unfortunately not gonna run hp tuners or gritty e-manage we don't know what we're gonna tune with yet, but we'll figure it out. And also headers, my dad has everything mocked up and all we need to do is just get them welded. And a year and a half ago, we were gonna get the whole headers and white pipe, but the guy who's doing the job got sick and it just sat at the shop for a week. And ever since then, we just never got around to it up until this moment. I will be making a video on headers and tuning later on. But nonetheless, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, comment down below what other videos you want to see. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.